HDL and triglycerides tends to go together. So low triglyceride tends to go along with high HDL. So usually they mean the same thing. So the ratio is not something that I typically look at. Most of the time, if you have a low triglyceride, you'll have a higher HDL. It's part of the mechanism. Diet actually has very little to do with the LDL, but the HDL and the triglycerides is much more dependent on the diet. So particularly carbs, if you eat a lot of carbs, your triglycerides tends to be higher. And then when your triglycerides are higher, your HDL tends to be lower. So those things all go together. I typically look at all of the panel rather than that ratio specifically. But again, the most important factor for heart disease is not the LDL. So everybody focuses on the LDL because that's the one that's amenable to drug treatment. So of course, there's been billions of dollars of marketing to sort of doctors talking about the LDL cholesterol. But in fact, if you're to take a single marker that is the most highly correlated to future heart disease, it's actually HDL. Because there's no drug to be marketed, then it gets a lot less attention. 